House Democrats are in a last minute scramble today to gather enough votes to pass health care reform. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is there for us this morning. She has the very latest. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Erica. House Democratic leaders now say they are aiming for a vote on Sunday, but a number of their members are still undecided. That's because it's now Thursday and no one has seen a final copy of this bill or how much it's going to cost. The vote that's taken in the House will be a vote for health care reform. And if people vote yes, whatever form that takes, that is going to be a vote for health care reform. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi can only afford to lose 37 Democrats, but according to a new CBS News tally, 67 Democrats either plan to vote no or are on the fence. Who are they? Well, more than half of them are facing highly competitive races this fall. At the last minute, I think the Democrats will be able to patch together enough votes in the House to pass the bill. Congressman Almeyer's office. Those members are getting so many calls from constituents on both sides that House phone lines have been overloaded. We couldn't get through to anyone. Back in their home districts, the pressure is just as intense. Republicans, meanwhile, remain unified in their opposition and are warning Democrats not to use a parliamentary shortcut to pass to such thank, sweeping uh, legislation. Democrats are so desperate to pass their government takeover of health care that they're willing to twist the rules of the House and the Senate and trample upon the Constitution itself. Democrats did make some important pickups yesterday. Congressman Dennis Kucinich of Ohio said he'll switch his vote from no to yes. And a pair of anti-abortion rights Democrats also said they'll vote yes in the end as well. Erica. Nancy, one of the problems, though, as I understand it, is as we know, these bills are not exactly light reading, but it was supposed to be posted a full 72 hours before the vote, yet the full bill has not been posted yet. Is that a correct? That's correct. And the problem is that if they want to pass this bill by reconciliation in the Senate, which means they'd only need 51 votes instead of 60, there are very specific rules they need to follow. So they've been going back and forth with congressional number crunchers, trying to find price tags for various items that satisfy these rules. And until they hit on those magic numbers, they can't release the bill and its final price tag to their members. Wow. So House Democrats, though, still planning to go ahead with this controversial strategy of basically passing some a package of fixes to the Senate bill. Well, that's what they're saying is one of their best options right now. They are getting a lot of heat from Republicans, as you saw. Republicans would say that this is unconstitutional, but it does shield a number of Democratic members from having to make a tough vote on this controversial Senate bill that is not exactly what they want. We won't know, most likely until this weekend, whether they do decide to go ahead with that strategy or not. And some thinking that could also save some pain come November. It's all connected. Nancy Cordes for us this morning on Capitol Hill. Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.